Hello again. I want to show you guys how to do the logical trick. Um, as you can see, it does not require a setup at all. No setup. Completely impromptu. Um, but you do remember a card. And this is the clever way that you do it. Instead of shuffling it up and catching a glimpse at the bottom, um, because you don't need to remember the bottom card, you need to remember the card in the seventh position from the top. So what you do is say, okay, I'm going to make two piles of 26. You deal them up face up like this. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You remember that card. But don't like stare at it and be like, jack of hearts, jack of hearts, jack of hearts, and then start dealing again. So what you want to do is, once you get 7, be like 7, 8, and kind of leave it jogged a little bit, maybe, if that helps you remember it, so that way you can get a, a, more of a, a glimpse at it. That way you're not just real quick and like, oh, I forgot already. Just kind of out jog the next one, and then just deal them out. Or if you want, just take like a mental picture. Just kind of um, slow down there a little bit, and then start speeding up again. However way you want, just remember this card. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, one pile of 26. This is 26, obviously. I don't have the jokers in there. I took them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. What the hell? Okay, I cannot count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. Um, ooh, okay, did I mess up? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh, I messed up. Okay, that's it. Sorry. Okay, 2 piles of 26. Hopefully you don't do that. Um, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I just messed up a little bit. Okay, 2 piles of 26. This one has the cards that you're remembering. Uh, the 7th spot, the cards. Flip it over and just put it to the side for now. This one is the one that you're going to be using for right now. And then you say, okay, we're going to make um, three piles that add up to ten. Okay? And then you just do like an example. Say, okay, ten. That's already ten. We don't need to add anything to it. Okay, ten. We don't need to add anything to it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so the trick is pretty much done. It's all about how you present it now. So then you have to add these up, pretty much. So you look, like, okay, 10 plus 10, that's 20. Um, 4 plus 20 is 24. So the 24th card will be, um, and then you kind of have to make it, make it up. You just kind of BS it. Um, this is where you have to be creative because if you have cards that don't actually help you with what you're, with the card that you're remembering, it's pretty hard. Um, I had one that was like all clubs and they weren't even near the number and I had to remember like the seven of diamonds or something. It was really weird. I was like, I've got no clue how to do this. Um, but kind of makes it be like, okay, since so there's two red cards, the 24th card down is going to be red. And um, since the heart is on the uh, right side, well, for you guys it's left, but for me it's the right side, um, it's going to be a heart. And since there's two tens, it has to be a jack because it has to be the one up or like something. Just make it up so that way. Oh, wrong one. There you go. So that way you can kind of give a reason for why this is on the in the 24th spot or whatever spot you're at. Because it just won't be good to be like, okay, 24th card is the jack of hearts. Because then they'll be like, okay, you have to remember that for some reason. And then you just put the rest of the cards from dealing these out on top and then just deal them out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24 um, there you go um, like I said it's all creativity um, let me actually show you a different example maybe one that will be easier for to make up, to be creative for like making up why that's the the prediction. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven game clubs. Remember that. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, four, twenty, three, twenty, four, twenty, five, twenty-six. Okay. Twenty-six, twenty-six. Okay, yeah, twenty-six, twenty-six. Flip it over. T positive ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack. And ten. Okay. Say so ten and ten. That's uh twenty. Twenty plus seven is twenty-seven. Um since there's all, there's two hearts and only one club, it, the twenty-seventh card is gonna, down is gonna be a club. And since the middle card is a jack, and then there's also a ten right here that it has to be a king. So the twenty seventh card down is gonna be a king. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 four, twenty, five, twenty, six, twenty seven. Um that wasn't the best example I wanted. I was hoping for something better, but oh well. Um so yeah, that was a logical trick. Play with it a little bit. Practice. Um try to get your your reasoning down. Um, so yeah, that's all for me. That was a logical trick. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.